3.30 in the morning. Alright, so the never-ending list of repairs continues on the 40. Um, I got myself another transmission cooler. Obviously getting the lock up to work helped it on the highway, but still in town. Those temperatures just keep on climbing until you can get it back into lock up in fourth gear and it can ca catch up again. So obviously I don't have enough cooler. So I bought the cooler of all coolers to put in this thing. I'm just hoping I can find enough room to actually mount it, but it should solve my problems. Well, this is the cooler I purchased. I have another cooler in there from the same company, just their slightly smaller version with two fans on it. But uh, this one's significantly bigger. And uh, yeah, I just hope I have room to fit it, but this should solve my problems. All right, well, um, I kind of like to uh, engineer as I go along and plans have changed a couple of times already, but I'll show you what I'm thinking here. And uh, I do believe it's gonna be my best option. So see what you think anyway. So this is just the start of it. Piece of angle iron, flat bar coming down. So instead of mounting it directly to the bottom of the box, I was thinking this is gonna go up in here like so. Somewhere there, I'll weld that to the bottom of the box. The cooler will hang vertically. I've got a little close to the drive shaft there, but I mean, I can't see that being an issue. Got my drive shaft loop there. And uh, it's not like those go side to side anyway. So plenty of room there. And then I'll just tie in, say this bottom hole here over to the frame there. And uh, that should stabilize it. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. So I'll just get to welding that in and work on that bottom brace. Well, that ain't going anywhere. So now I just gotta build that cross brace from the bottom here over to the frame here somewhere. My drill hole might just go back to here. Or just weld it, I don't know. But just to kind of brace that so it's not flapping in the wind, but she's gonna be pretty solid. I can hang off this, so. And I'm way heavier than the cooler is. Paint it black and put it back. So in sticking to the keep it simple stupid method, just created uh, or just bent a piece of flat iron. So this is gonna go up against like that. And then like I said, anchor to that hole there. So that'll hold the fan from uh, flapping in the wind, make it solid top and bottom. Should be good to go. Well, that should work just perfect. Vertical brace is all welded in. Got my support brace in. That is not going anywhere. Absolutely solid, so I'm happy with that. And uh, looks like it should catch lots of air too, so should definitely solve my uh, transmission overheating issues. This might be difficult to see, but I'll try and show you. Transmission lines are here. So it comes out of the transmission, goes forward through the frame to the uh, radiator. Then it goes from the radiator back through the frame again, all the way over here, past behind the battery to this cooler, which has, I don't know if I'll be able to see it. Well, they're there. Two big fans on top of that. So that'll come into that, or from there, come out of that, into this new cooler here, and then out of this cooler to the return on the transmission. So, radiator helps heat the transmission as much as it cools, but that's gonna be the hottest spot, so I want it to go there first. Then just follow the line back. This cooler, that cooler, and then we'll have the coolest fluid possible going back to the transmission, so. Should work. So yeah, parts store opens up in the morning. I'm gonna, uh, Head over there and get a couple hydraulic lines made so I can tie this one into my, my cooling system and uh, get nothing left to do but add some fluid and test it. So that was the last major thing I wanted to do before this thing hits the track again. So fingers crossed it all works. Alright, it's a new day here. 
I just got back from the parts store. I got a couple hoses made up so I can plumb in the cooler I put in last night. Um, leaving the shop here last night, I, I did notice I've got another problem. My Speedo was uh, erratic again. I just changed the speed sensor last time, but obviously it's not the issue. So getting a, little, looking, a closer look at it anyway. Um, when the motor had torqued over, it actually broke the connection a little bit. And I think I'm just getting a bad connection in there. So luckily I had another harness. I just snipped that off, rewired that. So transmission needs to kind of go back in. I've got it ripped apart here right now. The plate's off the bottom and everything. But uh, I'll get that back together. This plumbed in. I'll have to add a bunch of fluid to the transmission and test drive it. Hopefully she works. All right, well, let's get everything plumbed in. Line's going to the back cooler, from that cooler, and back to the trans. So that's all good. All I need to do now is top up the fluid and uh, take it for a test drive. As always, I want to thank you guys for tuning into the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm Ryan. This is 780 Speed and Custom. Tune in out.